So when we're faced with challenges, they come at they come after us. Do we look for a way out? Is that common? The common reaction action we take, or reaction, or do we look for a solution? Do we look for answers? Again, escape or solutions, and that will tell us whether we more commonly have a decided versus an undecided heart. I want to welcome you guys. Welcome to uh, decision number four, and this is in the seven decisions that could ultimately just transform our life and businesses, relationships, just so many aspects of who and what we are. And again, these are teachings from uh, a dear mentor and a highly respected uh, leader, Andy Andrews. And uh, I want to welcome you guys. Uh, this is the end of one of my work days here. I'm in my home office once again, and uh, just sharing from my heart to yours. So this is a big one. And, you know, how many times the years have you heard people say, you know, stay the course? You know, are, you know, they asked you, are you committed or are you not? You know, are you on board or not? You know, one of the fun stories is that uh, I forget the explorer, but one of the remember they were he was attacking uh, a town that had never a city that had never, ever been conquered. And one of his uh one of his things he did to to motivate his army was he once they landed with his invading force remember no army had ever took this great city he said first thing we'll do number one burn the ships <laughs> burn the ships they were cut they and they burned the ships they were low and they loved and trusted their commander so they burnt the ships were they committed yes were they moat did they have a decided heart Heaven just, hey, Miss Grace. So when they burnt the ships, they had to take the city, and they did. It was the first time ever in, in eons that an army invading armor ever had took the great city. And, you know, and, and also when it comes to the spiritual connection, you know, did, did God make us to have an undecided uh, mouse, you know, undecided heart? Or did he make us to be courageous? and and work through and find an answer he gave us this an incredible imagination he grabbed us the, he gave us the courage and he gave us other reasons and this bigger deeper sense of purpose to help us step through and have a decided heart uh, let me share some other little insights and these are insights um, a couple of we personally but also i'm gonna share some insights first from the author of these seven decisions um poor is the man or woman whose future depends on the opinions and permission of other people around them. Remember this, if we are afraid of criticism, we will die doing nothing. <laughs> nothing. How many times, I can raise both hands and both feet. I, I, I have such a kind heart at times that I fall victim of you. I listen to my imposter, you know, will this set well with this person or will this set well with that? One of my, uh, this may seem kind of crazy to those who know me. Thanks, Grace. Yes, it's about being courageous. I, I, I was listening. Uh, most of my mentors are faith-based. That's that's in line in alignment with my values. Many of you can relate that watch my videos too. And one of my one of my newer mentors, who's faith-based, and <laughs> he was uh, talking about something about oh, having. I think one of his video was to, videos how to have anything you want in life. You know. And one of his um, one of his golden rules was pardon the pardon the word, but and I hardly ever use this word, but uh, d d piss some people off, or make some people mad. That's a that's a better way of saying it, in my opinion. So it, it kind of took me back, and I said, "What's this guy saying? Why is he using those kind of words?" And then I, the more I thought about it, I realized that. One of the um, one of the calling cards of somebody who's really on track, passionate, they're they're in a good way, have an obsession, a passion. Okay, is is they upset? They upset the apple cart, and they upset people in the process of declaring truths and their beliefs and their mission. So one of my goals is to upset some people by by sharing some things that's coming from that i believe to be truth 
and of fundamental truths that were put together eons ago. Okay, and one of those is one of the pathways to have a decided heart is to have a bigger, deeper, higher purpose connected to why we were created. Okay, so again, just be very wary of our imposter wants us to do everything in alignment with opinions and uh, other people's sense of having to have their stamp of approval when we know what's right and what's wrong. Okay. Um, because we're, especially when we're, when we're, when we're fa based in timeless scripture and teachings. Um, this is, this is a fun little key here from Andy. Nothing great was ever accomplished by a realistic person. One of the big things that I'm always uh, reminded of constantly is to have a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal. I, I just met one of my one of my new connections uh, on, I do a lot on LinkedIn, as many of you know, and one of my connections there, even her title, she said, I'm impacting a million people on this planet to, in alignment with her, what she did and what she was passionate about. And I just love the big, audacious goal. You know, Joy and I have, a, our company has a vision to impact global health, to free people from physical pain, physical and financial pain, and become the largest wellness company on the planet. Joy and I have a, a global mission to impact millions of people's lives, to help them st step into their God-given uh, their God -given power and light, to help them create vibrant health and abundance so they can give back greatly to the world around them. So we have a decided heart where that's concerned. And, um, you know, Joy and I are in a new phase of our business. And I, this, I have a decided heart that next level, my team, my, my loved ones, there's, there's a cost to pay if I do not step into my God-given power and talent, okay? And put this and keep teaching and leading and, sh and being a torchbearer, there is a price that other people will pay, including myself, if we don't step into our light, guys. Um, and again, I mentioned this before, that the telltale signs that, we, that we're doing things with an undecided heart, uh, an undecided, uh, think of the word uh, decide. Okay, side means death. D means to not to or to go the other direction. So it's going the other direction. It's, it's, it's stepping into a living. So have, an, have a, a decided heart also means having a living, a, a not dead heart, a living, vibrant, full of light, heart, passion, purpose. Okay. And one of the, one of the examples, uh, two quick, ex two brief examples here. One of my dearest uh, mentors who many people know, many Grace knows, many of my people that follow that are in, in our community knows, Papa Jimmy, Jimmy Smith. And you're talking about a decided heart. This is a man who went through bankruptcy twice. He went through like 16, he's an entrepreneur, he went through like 16 ventures to find his, the vehicle that gave he and his family this, uh, this beautiful uh, freedom and the, and the ability to contribute at a high level. He had to have a decided heart, and he found solutions versus as a way out. And it took him many years and much time to find his vehicle. Another one of my dear friends, and he is now a global mentor to mentors, trainer to trainers. His name is David, David T.S. Wood, and he's a dear friend of, of mine, an incredible mentor to so many of my colleagues. And you know, there's, a, there's several times where he fell flat on his face. And at one of the one of his um, first times up in front of people, it was at a, a close friend's wedding. He's so embarrassed. I think it was the groom's family that he embarrassed it at so deep of a level. He immediately went home and left the country for a number of years, like a couple of years, before he had the courage to come back. He was that embarrassed. But did he keep stepping into the platform? To exercise his God-given talent of teaching and training and mentoring, yes, he kept stepping up and he made other additional mistakes and uh, fell flat a number of times, and he still does. But he's become this amazing, amazing um, philanthropist and uh, mentor, and he is he is inspired and continues to inspire so many people. Okay, so anyway, th th this decision is crucial, guys. Um, 
I have a decided heart. When challenges come my way, remember, we're, we're, we're either in a crisis or a challenge, or, we come, or we're coming out of one, or we're going into one. Uh, it, it, this is part of life. And we either look for solutions when we're thrown those challenges, or we look for escapes. Let's all find solutions, and that's how God made us. And let's have a decided, committed heart. And again, as we're assuming responsibility, we're seeking wisdom, taking action, and now we're stopping into our courage, into who we are, finding solutions, having a decided heart. To have an amazing evening. Love to get in day. Have love to get your comments below. God bless. Take care.